Goals. The only way a winner is chosen. Some quite challenging, while some others a walk in the park. So, what are the major factors that influence the chances of scoring these goals? Let's find out. Let's take a footballer at a particular position, ready to shoot. Notice that a triangle can be drawn, with the footballer's position being one of the vertices and the ends of the goal being the other two. Now, the angle between the lines joining the goal at the player's position is what we call the shooting angle, or simply put, the angle of triumph. As players need to operate within that limited angle, to score a goal. Now, as the player comes closer and closer, the angle becomes wider and wider, giving them a greater margin to operate. That is, they can now shoot with more ease, increasing the chances of scoring goals. But let's not forget, we have a goalkeeper, always on alert to dive and make saves, which brings another factor into the picture, the power of a shot. For example, while shooting from a long range, not only is the angle of triumph narrow, but also the keeper has more time to react and save. Hence, a high-power shot is imperative to increase the chances of scoring. Going another step further, in a real match situation, with defenders spread all across, the angles are further tightened, adversely affecting the chances of scoring. Now. Taking match pressure into consideration, along with angle, power, and position, one can put a number onto goal scoring chances, like in penalties, wherein the distance to the goal is fixed 12 yards, and the shooting angle is fixed 37 degrees. The chances of scoring a goal is always 77%, and it can be calculated for various situations too. But at the end of the day, it's easier said than done. What's the most improbable goal that you've seen scored? Keep watching Goal to Goal for all things science and football.